What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a fisheye effect in Sony Vegas. Now just before I get into this video, I'd like to say this video was a requested tutorial. With that being said, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then let me know in the comments below or on Twitter. So as you can see on the screen right now, I have some stock footage of an aerial shot of New York, just like that. And we're going to add, of course, a fisheye lens to it. Now the first thing we need to do is head over to video effects. If you don't see video effects, then select view, windows layout and select default layout. Now from video effects, you want to come over to cookie cutter. From there, just drag on the default one onto the clip. And this is what you should get. For now, we can X out of it. The next thing we're going to do is come down on video effects again, and we're going to go to sphere size. Again, we're going to be adding on the default one like so. Now, yes, it looks very distort. We will be fixing it. First of all, we need to change the amount to zero. We also need to make sure the center up here is set to 0.500, 0.500. This means this little plus you're seeing is going to be in the middle. The next thing where it says scaling, press this arrow and this should come up. Now, of course, we need to get the perfect circle. And the perfect circle for this, you need to change this to specifically 0.562. Six enter, and there we go. You can't see much of a difference yet, but that has made a massive difference. You also want to uncheck proportional and then where it says vertical, put it all the way up. Now, just for a second, we're going to take off the cookie cutter by pressing this button. And now where it says amount, we're going to put it up. As you'll see, it's slowly giving us the fisheye effect. And this is completely up to you how much you want to go. Of course, it makes it distort if you go too much. So maybe stick around 800 to 700. And for me, I'm going to stay 700 like that. The next thing, we're going to come back to cookie cutter and we can enable it like that. Now of course we have loads of black bars or we have a big black background. How do we get rid of it? Well as you can see it says size over here. If we bring this up like so it will slowly make it bigger like that and we can have it like that but the fisheye or the lens itself doesn't cover the entire thing so this is where we need to go back to sphere size and we need to make the horizontal go up. So as you can see, we need to match it all the way out. There we go. And we can also mess with the, the amount again. So again, completely up to you how much you want to go. I'm going to stay here for this one. And if we come over to cookie cutter, we can also add a feather to bring it in like that. Completely optional. Looks pretty nice having a feather. So not too heavy though, because as you can see, it'll become like that. So add a bit of a feather. And now let's X out of it and let's play through what we just created. As you can see, it gives us a fisheye effect on the video. And if we just go ahead and take off these one more time and play it again, as you can see, this is the original video and with the effects. So that is it for this video. I hope this tutorial has helped you. As you can tell, it's very simple to do. It's also very quick to do. You just have to mess around with the settings to suit your purpose. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.